What is up guys, GamerDude back once again with a Spider-Man PS4 discussion. As you can see from the title of the video, it's going to be quite the discussion. So, did anyone tell you that watching too many Spider-Man videos is just not educational? Well, let me tell you something guys, everyone on that would be completely wrong because I can't get enough of this game. Uh, now then, shout outs to all older new subscribers. Once again, appreciate all the love and support you've all given the past year. I'll keep it brief because I want to go into detail on this. So straight to business then, as we know guys, it is the month of November and November is supposed to be the release date of the next DLC. Now, Insomniac have been, let's say, rather quiet about the Turf Wars DLC. They haven't said much. All we know is that Hammerhead's going to be back and obviously Felicia Black Cat's going to be back because we saw her fake her death in the first part. It's obvious that she faked her death. She's not. Insomniac aren't really going to kill her off after three hours worth of gameplay. It'd be like the hyping up that whole bit for her in the main story with those little figurine things and then the suit that she makes for him. So it'd be really, be a really big downer if they did kill her off just like this, just like that, really. Uh, but there are some rumours and speculations going around on the mythical lands of Reddit that the Turf Wars DLC may in fact not even be coming out this month. I mean, it would be kind of stupid of them if they didn't because at the moment, even though Spider-Man's now two months old, it's been out for two months, it still has an incredibly good rep. It's still making sales, people are still buying it, people are still playing it for the first time and experiencing how fantastic this game is. Even a lot of people have just gone out and bought a PS4 if they've been massive Xbox fans just to play this game. So that says a lot about how the game's going. So I think it would be uh, a couple of down points if Insomniac decide to delay this DLC and it would sort of damage the reputation of the of the game really. I mean, yes, you've got to pay for the extra DLCs, but if I'm honest, they're not really that expensive. I mean, yes, I got mine for free, not gloating, not gloating that I won the Collector's Edition and I got the DLCs for free, but the simple fact is they are still deadly cheap on the PS Store, and I do recommend getting them because it definitely brought me back to the game. Because when I finished the main story before the new Game Plus came out, I found myself just swinging around with nothing to do. And that got kind of boring. I mean, yes, I still love the game in itself, but it got kind of boring. Uh, anyway, I'm just chatting away about the game, and you guys want to hear about this DLC. So, unfortunately, as you all know, it's a sad little fact, uh, but any new suits that get added into the game, so the ones that came with the Heist DLC, the Scarlet Spider, the UK suit, and the other one, I can't remember the name of it, I just know it looked like the Velocity suit, they don't have any sp specific suit powers. Which does kind of suck because if they add the Raimi suit in, for example, with the new DLC or one of the DLCs, I would love to see some kind of suit power that recognises that movie that is specific to that movie. I don't know, it could be anything like a Go Web Go power or something daft like that. Uh, even the UK suit, for example, it could have had a special power where he... Uh, shouts out the British National Anthem, you know, he goes, da, 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 da. that would have been really cool, it would have also been hilarious, and we would have all loved it as gamers and players of this game. So that being said about the suit powers, I mean, I wasn't too bothered to begin with when it first came out, because I was like, okay, this is cool, you know, it's something new, it's brought me back to the game. But when I went back into the new game plus, and I had these suits, it was kind of, I felt like it was kind of a bad move, like they could have done something more with it. Um, but moving on as well from that, because we all know that the suits have no new powers. Uh, Insomniac Games have been incredibly quiet about the Turf Wars DLC. I mean, unlike the Black Cat DLC, where there were trailers, there was posters, there was mega clips. In fact, they may as well have just spoiled the entire DLC for us. They may as well have just played it before it was actually released, because we saw so much of it. Uh, but yeah, they, they, they haven't said anything about this, which is why the people on Reddit seem, seem to think 
that it has been delayed. I mean, as I've said, I'm not one of these YouTubers that says, oh yes, this is happening, it's not coming out this month, listen to me, I know everything, I'm right about everything. No, I'm not that type of tuber. I'm just relaying information to you that I've seen and heard. And to be quite honest with you, it does seem like it may be true. I mean, obviously, again, I'm not one of the tubers that says it is happening. I'm just saying it seems like it's true. Down to the fact that the developers haven't said squat. We we know nothing about it. I mean, yes, we know that Black Cat's going to return because obviously she didn't die. And I've said this. I've said this before. She clearly didn't die because, well, hyping it up through the main story, and then doing a three-hour DLC. And just having a die would be a bit of a dick move, really. Come on, guys. Uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments about it as well. Let me know what you think. Um, no matter how negative your feedback is, I'll still listen to it. I will respond to all comments. Uh, also, if you're new to the channel, don't hesitate to smash the like button and drop me a subscribe. I also sub back to new subscribers. Uh, always got to show love on YouTube to all followers. Uh, but back to business. Um... Finally, I want to cover the boss battles that will possibly take place with Wilson Fisk. As you can see on the screen, he probably will come back for the next DLC or the DLC after. Just down to that newspaper clipping in the game that says mob bosses fighting mod these mob bosses and so on. Obviously, Hammerhead's going to be a boss. As I've said in this video, Felicia's going to be coming back, so we're probably going to fight Felicia again. Uh... We're not going to be fighting Silver Sable though. She is mentioned, but she's not coming back. She even said that she wasn't coming back. Um, another thing I want to cover as well is um, the possible location. And this is the final uh, part of this video now. Uh, the location is possibly in the bar with no name. Now, again, on the mythical lands of Reddit, uh, you can't verify these posts on Reddit, of course. But, you know, I'm just relaying some information. Uh, that this guy glitched into a building using photo mode and he saw like what was what appeared to be an arrow pointing down some stairs which looked rather promising what do you guys think do you think it's the location of the dlc or do you think it's just something that insomnia were going to use but then decided not to use just let me know in the comments what you guys think but I think, why would they bother to program an interior into a game if they weren't going to use it? They're my thoughts. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. This has been Gamer Dude. Happy gaming. And I will catch you all real soon.